light. Let's go. Come on. and shit. Oh, he oh. loves it. Okay, welcome, Just welcome, gosh. welcome yeah. everybody to Global Good News this morning. Coming to you live uh, from our new studio, aka our kitchen bench. Uh, and we're going to start things off with the usual breaking news of recovered cases of COVID-19. Uh, they are up again. Uh, we now have that most recent report, 165,035 people who have since recovered from it. <laughs> We always love to just bring you that first, obviously, because nowhere else is. Yeah. So here we are. Uh, taking me first now across the ditch. Good morning, everyone, as you come on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, and good evening if you are somewhere else in the world, wherever you may be. Um, but taking you now across the ditch to New Zealand. We're oh, cheer. Cheer, bro. We're a man <laughs> in Auckland. This is So I want to preface it by yelling at my husband saying, why the hell have you not done this? What is it? <laughs> why don't you tell me? He prepares. What it is? If you tell me what it is, I'll tell you why I haven't you... done it. Okay. So a man in Auckland has gotten creative to keep his street and community connected. He's created an outdoor cinema for residents to enjoy from their driveway and balcony. That wouldn't work very well where we live. It's the only thing. What about for me? Yeah, well, I can do that. <laughs> On our balcony. No, please. I Zach am... Crowhurst operates an audiovisual hire company and since the music... Zealand... Well, hang on. Oh. Key bit of information. <laughs> operates an audiovisual hire company. Honey, we Jesus. have an outdoor cinema. We have part of one. We absolutely have one anyway. Zach Crowhurst operates an audiovisual hire company and since the New Zealand government shut down the country, instead of focusing on how his business is suffering, he got into immediate action on how to bring more joy to his neighbours. He had the equipment laying around the house like we do. Yeah. Yeah. Hardly. Uh, and he set it up on, the, it's actually an incredible, um, uh, when I saw the news story, it was an amazing setup and it's on the driveway. And then all the neighbours had taken photos and they're literally on their balconies with dunas and they're watching the movie. Can you guess, don't read it, what was the first movie played? Up. No, he's so good though. Uh, the Incredibles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Close. Good choice. Close, close. Okay. Good choice, Zach. Good choice. Uh, enough about you and on to <laughs> more, uh, more important things like me. Uh, my turn. Now the USA, uh, hundreds of people have, I can't read, uh, showed up on Sunday night to show oh, support. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was like, oh, the sound isn't working. It's working. It's working. Great. It's working. Uh, look, what I would suggest, uh, Margie, baby, turn your volume up. Could be on, you could have your phone on silent. Maybe. Okay, so uh, just go and go. Uh, Owensboro Health uh, Regional Hospital uh, during a, a drive in prayer vigil. A line of vehicles filled around the hospital parking lot where people honked, cheered, flashed their headlights uh, from park cars to show encouragement for employees and uh, medical workers uh, to obviously that are on the front lines trying to deal with this at the moment. So doctors and nurses were all seen waving back behind hospital windows to show their appreciation. And again, it was an incredible photo of this entire car park was filled with hundreds of cars, which was an incredible sight. All right, so crossing now, okay, this is um, story of the day, for sure. Accidentally gave it to myself, or did I? But um, we're gonna cross now to the Denmark and Germany border uh, that currently has a blockade. So it's not super intense, it's kind of just like bollards that are blocking it, with military though, for sure. Um, but that is not stopping an 85 and an 89 year old to continue their daily dates. So every day, 85 year old Inga from Denmark and 89 year old Carsten, I'm probably saying that wrong, from Germany, who have been dating each other for two years now. I'm like, come on Carsten, put a damn ring on it. Yeah. Like 89, two years, I feel like time is- Yeah, but he gets married, he does, she gets half his shit. Pre -nup. <laughs> uh, pre -nup. Um, but they've been dating for two years and they're meeting at the border every single day to chat, eat some biscuits and have a flask of coffee. Mm. They've been quoted as saying cheers to the love uh, daily over their coffee and have said they just look forward to when they can hug again. I wonder if they... They can't. 
Yeah, touch. I was going to say, have sex. Well, they got pills for that. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I was so like, a hug? It almost sounds like something out of World War Two. It is, and it looks, I'm going to, the photo is them literally, and he's on what, he's in the Germany, like, zone, and she's in the Denmark zone, and they have yeah. their little flask, and they, like, cheers over the, but I'm like, there was military there, so I'm yeah. glad that they're not. There yeah. was social distancing. There was social distancing. Okay. I can report that. Except for the part where they touch the things they drink out of. <laughs> Um, okay, so staying in Europe now, uh, and we're taking to Italy now with some unbelievably positive news. Uh, the news is that a 101-year-old Italian man identified as Mr. P is recovering from COVID-19. Uh, what's special about this bloke is he was actually born and he lived through the Spanish flu as well, which was the last and... pandemic. Uh, hearing the news about this virus killing the elderly. Um, sorry, what are we saying here? He does definitely prepare before this. Just... No, he's actually a Holocaust survivor as well. That oh, is well, in the well, note. Well, but clearly, if he would live through the Spanish flu, he would have lived through the World War II as well to get to this point. <laughs> but isn't that amazing? It is amazing. The guy survived, well, probably the three biggest major global events Hands in, down. In, his, in recent history, at least, anyway. Hands down. Okay, so jumping across now to some more serious news um, in the United States, but amazing and exciting that... Uh, Ford Motor and GE Healthcare have come out and committed to and to produce and donate 50,000 ventilators within the next 100 days to assist with the coronavirus pandemic. Um, obviously, on top of Elon Musk still committing and donating his own ventilators as well, the world is going to be okay. America has a lot of ventilators coming their way from a lot of billionaires and amazing companies doing some cool things. Awesome, so uh, crossing out of a country we have never actually talked about before, yes. uh, Tunisia. You're, or, you're not reading on I've your... just lost my notes, so I'm reading off yours. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it bigger and I closed it and lost it all, but I couldn't read it off the page. I might need glasses. This just in, I need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 150 Tunisians, which I believe is in Northern Africa, uh, decided to go into lockdown at their work, uh, living and working in their factory so they can still produce face masks. So. Okay. Um, that sounds a bit like slave labor to me. I don't know if that's, uh, <laughs> no, but they chose it. Reporting. They chose look, it. Heard, you sent I, me this look, article. I, look, I've heard <laughs> racist people make the same claim about slaves in the past too. They wanted to be there. Well, these heroes <laughs> are making 50,000 <laughs> masks a day. Yeah. Um, and protective medical gear. So they chose this. You sent me this article. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so they're actually, I think it's crazy. They're living in the factory that they're working in to continue to produce masks. Maybe. We yeah. should look into that. Wasn't it Kanye West? It was like they wanted to be slaves. Kanye West? Oh. I'm pretty sure he said that. Something along those lines. Oh, that's good. Kanye said a lot. <laughs> okay, so news just in now. This is from a couple of hours ago where a Minnesota trooper pulled over a doctor for speeding, but instead of giving her a speeding fine, he instead gave her his N. 95 mask. P2 he, if you're in Australia. P2 if you're in Australia. Why do they have different names? Because it's to do with Australian standards and European safety flight standards. Mm. Yeah. He had noticed the mask she had, she had in her bag on the seat next to her was very used and so gave her his brand new one, which I think is amazing, with a stern warning apparently to still please not speed. Yeah, but yeah. I think that's lovely. Good on him. Nice to see the police doing something positive. Okay, so. <laughs> Love that positive. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, here's a, we've got an my life pro tip as well. So this is for everybody working from home or works from a computer. Um, you guys may be already, may, I know I didn't. Uh, I didn't know this. If you're on a Windows computer, if you hold control and press backspace, it deletes a word at a time rather than a letter at a time. So hmm. they're just holding backspace. So that's control backspace will delete word by word. Uh, and the same is on Mac if you are, hold the option and delete and it's just trying it now. Oh, I will. Oh, I can do this live, guys. Option. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Word for word. Get out so of control and backspace or option and delete. Enjoy. Okay. Just made you at least 3% more productive. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, that is it for the news today. We hope that we have given you some positivity, some laughs and some joy. Yeah. Um, I was talking to Morgan and I did say that what I think we'll do in the future, we've had some amazing messages and a lot of feedback is that Morgan had initially wanted to do this more as like a really high tech, get up the stories as we say them from Zoom and do all these things. And I said no, but I think what we're going to do moving forward is do it like once or twice a week and do just that. So you can yeah. actually see these stories that we are sharing. You can see Inga and the dude um, at the border and things like that. So if you're enjoying these though, let us know. Um, comment, share, laugh with us, jump on live. It's 10.30 a.m. Cold Coast time every single day. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. 
At, well, well, we were a little late today because I had a big call on. I wouldn't say anything. Oh you my said, god. You said, anyway, from me to you, he is giving you a pro life tip. I am going to say spread a little love today. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> Bye.